Hello everyone, welcome to my eighth Timu video on my Timu haul that I just got in yesterday. I want to share with you some craft items, some clothing, uh, some children's items, and I think it's mostly going to be craft items. So I'm going to start out first with a child's item, but then again adults could use it too. It's an ice pop or popsicle holder. So you know how you put the can koozies over your cold drinks? This is the same concept, but those ice pops will slip inside the pocket and instead of wrapping paper towels or a washcloth around the ice pop, the children's hands won't get cold. And I just thought this was a fabulous idea. I got two of them, one for each of my grandkids, and they were 98 cents. The next item I'd like to show you is a travel jewelry box, although I'm going to use it when I'm not traveling. And I got it in beige. It's got a little bit of a sparkle to it. It's hard to see on the camera, but um, it has a snap in the front and it has a spot here for earrings and it's got a ring slot Put your rings these will remove so you can adjust them according to whether you want to put bracelets in there or any other little jewelry trinkets and behind the earrings are the necklace hooks that you can hang on these little hooks and then there's like a little pocket to keep them from falling around so I got this jewelry box for um, $4.49. The next item is a piece of jewelry. Um, it's great for sweaters. It's a long necklace. They call it a four leaf clover pendant necklace. It's silver tone. And it's got, I guess you could call that a clover. To me, it's more of like a diamond shape. And there's two that hang at the bottom just smaller and what I like about it is it's very adjustable it slips over your head but this slides up and down to any length that you want to dangle from your neck I mean it's one length but um, you can adjust it closer to the neckline or further it's pretty long. I guess I can give you a little close-up of it. Here you go. I'm wearing my heart necklace from my last Timu, which was less than a dollar, and I just love this heart. It's in my last video where I have my seventh haul. But overall, I like this silver long necklace, and it was... $1.97 and it feels pretty well made. Um, there, okay. So next I have um, a diamond art. I've recently really gotten into diamond art and it's very relaxing. I ordered this floral pattern. It's a 30 by 40 centimeter. I think that's 12 by 16. I'm not mistaken, I'll have to check my measurement chart. But anyway, this is the pattern. And when it's finished, I'll be sure to show you the finished product. I was thinking about the frame and there were some comments in this particular painting where someone bought this um, tape. It's actually iron-on tape and they framed it around the outside. It's crystally very blingy, you actually iron it on. And so I bought myself a roll, I think it's a yard, which should be enough to put around when this painting, or when this diamond art is finished. So I'll trim around the edges, I'll line it around the edges with this sparkly um, diamond tape that you can iron on and um, 
So the diamond art kit, which comes with everything you need to create your beautiful art piece, comes with the crystals and a tool little kit, um, a tool kit with the waxy uh, clay that you pick the diamonds up with and then it sticks to the canvas, some tweezers and a little tool to pick up the diamonds with and the tray of course. So I'm looking forward to that and I actually finished two diamond art pieces from Timu. And by the way, that diamond kit was $3.59 for that floral pattern. Comes with everything that you need. And then the sparkly tape that I'm going to use to frame around the outside to make it really blingy was, um, I haven't gotten to that part yet, but I believe it was around $1.50 when I, when I get to, oh wait. Here we go. It's crystal hot hot fix rhinestone ribbon iron on one yard for a dollar forty nine. And I just finished my purse that had the peacock. It was in an earlier video, unfinished. It's a long crossbody strap, and if you could see the sparkle of this peacock, it took me about an hour and a half to do and it comes with like a cute little embellishment tassel there's no pockets inside but it's a pretty nice size actually a cell phone a normal size cell phone would fit in it or makeup your car keys and um so this was around five dollars and 65 cents with the whole kit and i did a birdhouse I bought this in an earlier video that I show, and I finished it, and I'm getting ready to frame it. So um, I think it turned out pretty good overall. I'm very happy with it, and it's very therapeutic. I, I enjoy doing it in my free time when I'm sitting around eating dinner or just, you know, watching TV or wanting to pass some time and do something that's fun. The next thing that I would like to show you is another item that I have for diamond art and it is an anti-slip sticky mat, $1.48 and it holds a tray so you can set this on your painting and it won't stick and be stuck to it because the diamond art has a self-adhesive so that the diamonds or the gems or little drills as they call them will stick to it, um, but this is anti-stick, so, but it holds the tray in place so it doesn't slide around. So I got this, it's just a little extra thing, it's $1.48. I also got a little roller to flatten down the beads, and I'll show you what I mean. Sometimes when you're sticking them on, they're not completely pushed all the way down, so you can go over your painting with this little rubber hard rubber roller and when you buy it it actually comes like this and what you do is you just stick it on the end of the pen that you're using to pick up the little dots the little gemstones so um i purchased this for and uh, let's see here um Okay, mini roller, diamond diamond painting mini roller, $1.59. Okay, so I'm getting organized here. My next thing that I will show you is a magnetic wood hanger holder to hold your paintings. So I got the eight inch ones, but I got it in white and I got it in this natural color wood. And what you would do is you would, they're magnetized. So you would put this at the bottom of the painting. It just sticks together because it's a magnet and put this one at the top of the painting. And it's got the little hanger and it holds it. And it's one way to frame your diamond 
paintings very easily and I got one in white and one in natural color wood and these were three dollars and 98 cents each sometimes they're cheaper if you catch it on a lightning deal but um still it's not bad for a frame and then for storing my uh, diamonds i picked up these little bags and they have the Opening up at the top, of course, you can stick your diamonds in there, label them if you would like, because all the colors each have their own number, and seal them shut. And I got a pack of 100 for $2.95. You could also use these for jewelry, but I got two packs, and each pack has 100. Or maybe each pack has 50, but I ordered 100, and, uh, well, no, per 100, $2.95, so... I thought that was nice. Um, also for diamond art is one of these odd looking things. Um, when you're doing around the edges, sometimes the diamonds or the little stones aren't exactly in a straight line. So you could use this tool to push them all over evenly and in between the lines to get them all lined up perfectly even. So this little plastic um, handy diamond art uh, aligning fix tool was 48 cents. And last but not least for the diamond art or for any art, I got this interesting foam. It's foam, but it looks pretty good actually. Frame. It's self adhesive and it comes in eight colors. It's $1.27. I got it in black and it's really glossy. And what you do is you peel off the back. It's paper, but it's sticky on the other side. And you can frame anything you want, a mirror, your diamond art, uh, one of your children's um, school pictures that they do. And they have it, like I said, in eight different colors. I got black because I'm planning to do my um, parrot picture with the black. Um, it's very brilliant color, greens and blues and orange, and I just thought that the black would look good surrounding that picture. And again, that was um, $1.27, and it's, I think it's a yard that you get. There's, there's quite a bit here, enough to do a large uh, picture or painting. So I'm going to give that a shot, see how that works, and I'll let you know in the next video. And um, so then what I have next are some clothing items. And the shirt I'm wearing is actually one of the shirts I just got in. And this shirt is a Swiss dot ruffle hem blouse in burgundy, $7.57. So I will show you the shirt, if I can back up far enough here. Oh, let me move this forward a little bit. Okay. All right. So I like the length. It's not super long. This is a small. It's burgundy. It, it comes in probably five or six different colors. The sleeves are sheer, but not real sheer. I had gotten a blue one, you'll see in a previous visit, steel blue, and I liked it a lot, but it had a big stain right there, so I'm waiting for another one to come in. But in the meantime, I had ordered this red one, or burgundy is what they call it. It's, it's pretty red to me. Um, and then I had ordered also this pink, top with feather design v-neck and the sleeves are really nice and the material on these are real summery and and just really nice feeling against your skin so this would be the top i'm not sure if i'm going to try these on because i'm kind of pressed for time and then the next top i got was this yellow eyelet, I guess you could call it embroidered, Swiss dot 
and it's kind of a really pale yellow. Kind of a pale mustard, but with a little more yellow than like mustard, <laughs> if that makes sense. The sleeves are really nice. And the back has buttons down the back, which is really a cute touch. And it's a little bit longer than the red shirt that I'm wearing, actually like three inches longer, but it's kind of a smock top, but I think I'm gonna wear it with jeans and or capris, and I think it'll be a really nice summery blouse. And then I got some kind of like yoga pants. They're stretchy. They have side pockets, deep enough for a phone. As you can see, my hand is all the way into the pocket. High-waisted, bell-bottom. Not real heavy, but not, uh, not see-through or anything like that. The only thing with these, I got them in a, in a large, an 810, because I didn't want skin tight. They fit nice everywhere, but it seems like the crotch hangs a little bit low. So I pull them up higher, but then the bell bottoms are like at my ankle or a little bit above. So I think if I ordered this style, this pant again, which I really like the stretch, I like the feel of this material, it's really nice, I would go down a size just because the crotch hangs down a little bit lower than I think it should. And these uh, pants, well, I'll tell you the price on all the clothing. The, uh, the pants are $10.98. The yellow colored top was um, $10.99. I do believe that it's out of stock right now, as well as the pink shirt with the little feathers on it, uh, the V-neck. Feather print blouse is $6.97, and I think that one's out of stock right now as well. Hopefully they'll be getting it back in. And then the last item that I would like to share are some women's panties, which are really cute. They're bunnies. They're called Bunny Pattern Soft Breathable High Waist Panties, $6.98 for the pack of four. And this is one of the pairs. I like them because they're high-waisted and the material is really nice. And they have a really cute little pattern on the um, waistband. This is another pair. And I like the light colors because sometimes I want to wear white pants or a light colored pair of slacks and I don't have to worry about, these have like little hearts. I don't have to worry about them seeing through my clothing. And then the last pair actually has a bunny. I didn't notice that, but um, really, really nice. And I got these in size medium. And they were uh, $6.98, I think I mentioned that. So that is everything that I have to share with you today. I know it wasn't a lot of items and it was very crafty, but um, I do wanna share everything that I purchase. I'm not sponsored at all by Timu. Everything I buy, I buy because I want it and I share it with people or I keep it. Um, I do list my items individually in the description below with the link so you can go right to it. And I hope you like and subscribe. Um, and if you want to leave a comment, I would be happy to read it and get back to you. I've kind of lost my remote in all this, so that's why I'm looking away. But anyway, we can always turn it off manually. So y'all have a great day. God bless. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye-bye.